Hey there. Can you watch this quick about a family? And it is Suggestions Weekend. Today we're at for Suggestion. We are at the Park Grove Inn here on Community Center Drive in Pigeon Forge. About to spend the night. Let's get it. I think the very first thing you notice here is this is a big room. Yeah. Very nice size room. So we're looking at, this came in, it's a, what is today? Wednesday? Tuesday, Tuesday. night? So it's Tuesday and we're staying Tuesday night into Wednesday and tax and everything, it came to $94. I think the first thing you notice is the size, but equally the first thing is the smell. It just smells so good everywhere. From the moment we walked into the hotel, it was like that. I like the accent wall there. I do like that. It's cute. Yeah. These beds, what side are they? So these, I believe, are queen beds. Maybe because the room's so big, it makes it look smaller. Probably. Yeah. Um, so you have like your standard furniture. You have two plugs here and the light goes off and on right there. It's a little bit of a darker room. There's no overhead lighting. Yeah. You have the desk with substantial room to like pull it out. There's a lot of stuff on this yeah. desk, but it's not dirt. Well, yeah, one thing is that we say 100%, this is aged, you know, it's an, it's an older place and it kind of has that it, walking it up to this room and being in this room almost gives me like river house vibes, the staff. The staff yeah. that gives you River House vibes, it, it feels very family oriented. They said they have like a like a very high return rate. So most of the people that book have been booking for years and years here. I can see why. I would say that River House would have replaced this table though. Um, oh yeah, for sure. But then once again with the plugs, you have a lot of those. The mirror with the desk, you see that again? You see that yep. with edge water? Mm -hmm. Oh, you won't see that yet. Sneak peek suggestion week. So then there is a table here with two chairs. There's a little bit of staining in the chairs, but it's not like dirty stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. It's not like, I don't feel. Like it feels like, like somebody know. attempted to take care of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I also noticed there's a couple down here too. Yeah, and walking up here, there's like some slits in the wallpaper, but I mean, nothing. The, the, even with, with all those things considered, I, I would still I'm say so I'm in a clean room. Yes. Look at this. Bigger television. Bigger television mm -hmm. than the one we've stayed in. Yeah, you can That's see a big difference. That's probably 100 inch right now. 150, 150, likely. Yeah. Then we have the microwave. Let's check. So it is clean. You've got two little drawers there. I always open up the wrong side of the fridge. But that's clean. It's clean. Yeah. There is a napkin there just to hold it up so it's even. I think it moved <laughs> yeah. when I opened it. Okay. Um, and right here, I think we forgot this as part of the room. It's a, this is a neat little addition. Um, so there's space for your luggage. You can put luggage up here, sit down here, shoes under there, put your shoes on, iron, ironing board. I like all of this. And you still have the space with all of this. For sure. So check out this balcony here. This should be a huge selling point for this place. On this side of the property, you can see Mount Lacan in the distance. You're looking at the wheel from the island there. There's Lumberjack Square. Smoky Mountain Brewery right there. You can just walk to it. Yeah, this is. Uh, there's a lot of things in walking distance. On the other side of this property too is the uh, Pigeon Force Community Center. I think for like five bucks a day, you can get in there. They have like a, oh, yeah. they have like three or four slides over there. 
um, all kinds of fun and stuff to do. There's Kroger's on this side. Yep. There's that cross that everybody likes to yeah, go to. Yeah, the cross. Yeah. Man, the, the thing, you know, I've not even thought about this until this very moment, but there is Kroger. You can walk to it. There are several restaurants, all of which you can walk to. Um, there is just a lot of stuff in walking Ooh, distance yeah. from this area. And then there's Harpoon Harry's on the other side here. There's Brick and Spoon. I mean, there is just a ton of stuff around the spot. Yeah, I will point out though that this is one of those kicking it together balconies. Oh, yeah. Check out the balcony. Like, it's literally <laughs> the same pour. Like, that'd be cool if you were like a family and you wanted a connect room, but if yeah. you don't have that, then maybe it's not as cool. Yeah. Is out of the bathroom. Yeah. But this is the only sink here. But I mean, a lot of people. I prefer it. this. Yeah. yeah. So you have ample space for all your hygiene, makeup products. Um, there is aging, you can tell with mm -hmm. the sink but they do provide like shampoo conditioner a lot of soap <laughs> yeah and they have a hair dryer i want to start pointing that out someone asked about that yeah and then there's coffee ice bucket and looks like they even provide in your room sugar and stir nice so all that's in there is the toilet and the tub yeah, now there is a little bit more damage in here than I think anywhere that I've seen. Okay. So you can see this yeah. here. And because of that, I think it constantly falls on the ground. So this is not permanent stains. All of those can be moved. Okay. Um, where you could get it with a broom, but I think they would probably fall off. The heat light, I love that. Yeah, love I love that. the heat light. And then the tub, great with toddlers. I appreciate that. I think it's like low. I'm not tall. Well, they, they, they've put a drop ceiling in. And, yeah. there, and here and in where the sink is, there's a drop ceiling, but in the rest of the room, there's not. But the tub looks clean. Yep. All right, one last overview of the room here, and then we're headed to the pool. We'll see you there. I... This is your setup. So the toy that you brought this time was your play food. And you're gonna have your subway shop open this time. <laughs> because last time you closed it on me. <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> JC. No, I'm making it hot. Jay, I need a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You want pie? No! What, you pie? what do you have for me, Joey? Peanut butter and jelly. stayed in and felt comfortable staying in. So comfortable, it was like one of our favorites. I would say that I've stayed in. I love the pool area. The hot tub is actually a hot tub. Um, the jets are super strong, so I really like that. I like that everything was clean and never questioned whether or not something was clean. And um, it was very spacious, so I enjoyed that. And they also came in like out of the bank at $94 and still served breakfast. 
that's just a steal here mm -hmm. in this area, especially at this time. And the staff was absolutely amazing. So the reason it's not a 10 for me is, so when I see this place, I compare it to River House. If that is the case, it's a good hotel because that's our favorite. Um, however, I do know River House, uh, they would have updated some things. Even though they do keep it looking old school, they still update. We've seen them put in brand new carpet, even though it doesn't look like, uh, as far as like style wise, that it is new. We watch them renovate, we watch them put in new mattresses. If something was damaged to the point of that desk, they would have replaced it. It wouldn't be in there or that room wouldn't be available. Um, also, the little mushroom thing in the pool, it was off and it wasn't on. That was one the of the- pump was broke, I think they yeah, said. Yeah, that was one of the reasons we booked it and just some differences between what it looked like online versus in person, but it did look great in person. I really enjoyed it. This is my favorite one that we found budget friendly in this area and it's right across from my second favorite budget <laughs> my second favorite budget friendly which is the La Quinta and it is pet friendly and Iggy also loved it so it's an eight I think an eight and a half because the inside's super cute um and really big and they um and especially how it's super cheap and they have breakfast and the indoor pool is really cool but I hope the outdoor pool was heated because it was freezing, so we didn't end up really going in the outdoor pool. But the indoor pool, we loved it. We stayed in there a ton. We even woke up early. This one, and we yeah. never wake up early. <laughs> and I think about the pool, I think that nobody actually used it. I think the people were just trying to be nice and putting the floats Float. down. The floaties? Yeah. So they had floaties already there. And I never went outside. Um, the whole tower room was cute. Um, Did you have room to place your stuff? Yeah, I learned how to go underneath the water. Oh yeah, you went underneath the water for the first time Yay. here today. Good job, Jay. What do you think, babe? All right, so I'm also gonna go eight. It was clean. Now, there was some things that housekeeping just couldn't help, like Brittany was talking about some wear and tear. There was a couple of things, but you could tell this place was meticulously clean. I like when you walk into a place and you can smell cleanliness and then the park row is definitely one of those spots. It's great that they had two pools. The hot tub was really good. I spent a lot of time in there. The view of the island and Pigeon Forge was awesome. Uh, you go out on the balcony. If you want one of those rooms that has a great view, get between uh, on any floor from one to seven or maybe two or three to seven. Uh, the tw room 20, 19, 18, all of those around that area are the ones on that end that have the view where you can see the, uh, the wheel and the mountain mile and all that. Other than that, um, I really enjoyed the stay. It's amazing that this place came in at under $100. It was, a, it's a, it was in June, so under $100 in Pigeon Forge in June is a really good deal. Uh, even when the prices, the prices hadn't increased yet, but even when they do for the room that we had, I think they said it was coming in right at like 120, which is a steal for a clean hotel in this area. So if you're coming to Pigeon Forge on a budget and you're looking for a nice clean place to stay, the Park Grove Inn is definitely the spot. Anybody else have anything? No. All right. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.